YouTubers, it's Mark from Truth Seeker, and I'm on Soul 620. This is basically what they gave us, and there's a reason why, of course. We'll probably, when we see this picture, it'll either be heavily edited or it'll never make it the full version. That's usually what happens, but let's see what I can do with this. Okay, we're back. Now, you could see that there's a reason why this picture is not the has hasn't been released yet. You could see back by these mountain ridges. And there's see what they're gonna do. See how they blocked all this blocking. You could see part of. I take it to be some type of statue. And you see, you could see where it comes up. You see what they did here. You see how this is all stretched. See how this is all manipulated and stretched? Rocks just don't make this. You see this piece over here that they blurred out? It's got... I don't even know how to describe it. You see the statue on top of it? I'm just going to show you this stuff and you make up your mind. But if you take rocks and pixelate them, it's not going to it's not going to make this these patterns. You see what we're looking at? This is what goes behind all that black. If people see like honeycomb and stuff like that, you know, what looks to be honeycomb. To me, they're just ornate structures, carvings. You see how they stretch it? That would be a normal statue head, but they just stretch this stuff and they're twisting it. See back here, guys. Um, this is the best part of the whole picture. This is the mountain back here, and I have this in some of my videos. There is some type of crazy structure back here. It almost looks like it's got a walkway spiraling right around and coming up. Is it a lookout tower? telescope see how it looks like it's got a platform that just spirals right around it it looks like it just spirals right around it and goes up to the top when I take pictures of my mountains <laughs> they sure as hell don't look like that and you can see here there's some big monuments you could see there's the one eye, the other mouth, how it st stands out. There's another one that they just see what did, how they just do this. When we see this picture in full version, it'll look nothing like what I'm just showing you here. And I'm sorry, the past couple of days I just haven't been feeling good. Going back about uh, 15 years ago, I had a lady hit me from behind. She's driving a big Mitsubishi Montero truck, and she herniated my L4 and L5 sciatic uh, in my sciatic area, those discs, and two in my neck. And uh, I mean, the past couple of weeks, I've been coming over helping my mother clean up. She's uh, she had to apply for a reverse mortgage, and they're doing it a home inspection, or something like that, and uh, she needed some cleaning up and. I tell you, man, I just, I blew my back out. So basically, that's what's been going, going on with me. Just not feeling good. I'm going to try to put a couple more out today. But I just thought that this was interesting because there's too much symmetry in this picture. I mean, some of it is blocking. 
some of it is pixelization but other things like this you could see it's on a base pixelization is not going to do that it's not going to make that little carving pixelization is not going to do this create symmetry on one you see these almost look identical like holders like it's holding this or this see that perfect arch in there and it comes down you know they blocked it see this is how the picture is I believe is coming down from the rover with the computer manipulation and then from these J from these little thumbnails they're gonna have somebody that's gonna touch this up a human so when you see this picture it's going to look nothing like this. Absolutely nothing. There'll probably be a bunch of that slate looking stuff here. These back here will be like a, a really tan color. Alright guys, two seekers out.